Hello guys, today I will tell you very basic about machine learning. Since past couple of years, we have been using words like machine learning, deep learning and artificial intelligence. Let's glance into those terms to understand how they work. What is machine learning? Computer science evolved in past decade and made so many automated processes that work fluently and accurately than human work. Computer engineers have been working to automate as many processes which are repetitive or rule-based. When it comes to automate complex processes like classifying objects, making group of similar objects, or predicting if tomorrow will be rain or not, machine learning grabs your attention to solve those problems. Though all these processes are rule-based, their rule arrangement are compound and hard to fit in a small script or program with more human level accuracy. Here machine learning comes into the picture. Let's look at the definition of machine learning. Machine learning is a method of data analysis that automates analytical model building. It is a branch of artificial intelligence based on the idea that system can be learned from data, identify patterns and make decisions with minimal human intervention. As we seen in definition, machine learning is a method of data analysis. Let's look into data analysis. Data analysis can be done by two different ways. One, when you know the data, it is also called supervised learning. Second, you don't know the data, but you see some similarities between data. That is also called unsupervised learning. Machine learning is basically machine perception. We give machine ears eyes and intuition of the future. Machine learning mainly solves three kind of problems. Classification, clustering, and forecasting. Classification is the action or process to classify something according to its characteristic. Clustering is a process of grouping similar things based on appearance or behavior. And forecasting is estimation of future event based on the historic events. Let's look into all three one by one. Classification. As you know the definition, it is a process of classifying according to its characteristic. To do so, we must know what class the object belongs to. This gives us accuracy measure of whether we classify object correctly or not. To automate this process, we need to train the machine by providing object and its correct class. This is a supervised learning process where we know the data and labels. After training, when a new email comes, machine classifies it correctly based on a previous learning and stops spam emails. Email classification is a good classification problem. Second, clustering. This is a grouping process based on appearance or behavior. So, we do not need to know their labels. Grouping happens based on the similarity. To automate this process, we only need object which machine can read and put it, in a, put it with the similar objects. In this example, we trained our machine with the characteristics of men and women. After training, when we pass a new characteristic, it will put the entry to appropriate clusters. This is called unsupervised learning. Third. Forecasting. Forecasting is a process of predicting the future events. Machine learning is not a fortune teller. It reads and analyzes the historical data and finds some patterns in the data. Based on those patterns, machine gives intuition for the future events. Mostly, we use forecasting to predict weather conditions. If all these problems can be solved by machine learning, then why we need deep learning? Keep following, guys. We'll We'll learn about deep learning in next videos.